Harrison into Rodrigo. Can we FM it here? Oh, I need VAR to see if that went over the line. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. RC here, and this is episode 13, Staying Up with Leeds United. And we are rewinding down, if my math is correct, tomorrow <clears throat> will be the final episode. And the beta should release, um, the beta should end tomorrow, and the full version should come out tomorrow. Uh, so, of course, uh, tomorrow being the last episode of the beta. And then I may need a day or two to get my plus 30 set up. So just be aware of that. I may be a day or two late getting going on the save just because I have some things to do to set the database up and everything else. Taking a look, I've re redone this a little bit, added a few new columns. West Brom, uh, after the 6-0 win over Bournemouth, I was pretty happy with the new tactic. Man City beat us, and, you know, but they're a top-level team, so we played them tight. West Brom, we beat 3-0. Rafinha with a goal. Amin Guiri with a brace. So that was nice. And then we stunned Tottenham 5-0. Curtis Jones with a brace out of that shadow striker number 10 roll. Rodrigo with a brace. And Guiri with another goal up top. Chelsea, 2-1 to loss. Guiri with the lone goal for us. Again, we played well. We were, we were in it, but they deserved a win. Burnley, a 4-0 win. Rafinha with a brace. Rodrigo and David uh, Dawid. Kon Konaki with a late goal. I haven't said his name a lot this uh, this season. And Norwich, we won 3-1. Konaki with a brace, including a penalty. And Rodrigo with a early goal. And we are doing really well. So after 30 matches, we are on 47 points. We've gone from, what were we at? A plus 5 to now a plus 20 goal differential. And so we are doing well. Hopefully we can uh, end up qualifying for Europe. What I might do is I might go ahead and sim five seasons ahead and do a five-season look back uh, like we did uh, at the end of last season in FM20. Uh, let me know in the comments if that's something you guys would like to see. I'd like to see how Guiri does going forward if he stays with Leeds. Of course, Leeds, you know, the, the AI doesn't even rate him to be in the start, you know, top three strikers on the club, uh, but he has 15 goals. I think he is astoundingly good, but that's just me. Uh, but anyway, and it would be nice to see if they do well in uh, in Europe, even if it's Europa League. Uh, as we as they continue to try to build up. So let me know in the comments if you're interested in that. Taking a look at the match today, we are playing Liverpool. They are third in the table on 68 points. Of course, they fired uh, their manager, Jurgen Klopp, earlier in the season. I am going to keep going with this tactic. So we're going to be with Rodrigo. Uh, do we want Kodaki? Oh, Guiri got hurt. He is injured and four more days. And then uh, Rafinha just got hurt in the last match over Norwich. He's out for two weeks. So we're without both of them. Curtis Jones can't play against his parent club. So that's going to bring Jan Paveda in at the shadow striker. Harrison will take Rafinha's place on the left. Esgayo on the right. Tonali in the mid, uh, deep mid. Dallas, Urente, Cott, Shackleton, the standard back four. Taking a look at Esgayo, uh, two assists, no goals in his first five matches, playing a 6.86. So he's doing the job. He's you know he's performing well, and I'm really glad that we picked him up on that right wing. Dallas moving to the back line has allowed us to rotate him and Sessegnon. Sessegnon is actually a pretty solid-looking player, playing a 6.91. Dallas is playing a 6-9-8, however, so that's what's getting him into the starting lineup. And that gives us Sessegnon at all three back line positions, so that bodes well. Tenali's playing a 6-9-9. Phillips is playing a 6-9-8. Let's see, he's got 90% passing. Tenali's at 89. Let's give Phillips a go today. That does change up three of our starting midfield players. 
But, you know, that's fine. This is going to be a rough one. Hopefully we can do something here. But, you know, the odds of pulling off another upset like we did against Tottenham don't bode well. Uh, let's fire them up. We picked up two early yellow cards. As Gallo and Urente. And the first highlight is going to be to Liverpool. And I was hoping we would get that. Oh, taken away by Jan Paveda. And taken away from him. <laughs> well, that was a nice move there. So we've got some... Uh, all right, I can see already that we are losing. Oof, Mo Salah, 28th goal of the season. I'm going to have to keep an eye on how, how we're playing against these guys because I saw there we're losing the ball a lot in the dribble. So it may be something that we want. To address there. Shackleton over to Harrison. He's in the box and it's knocked away. Sala gets to it. Damn. Oh, offsides. Come on. He dinks the keeper. I'm, that looked like he was offsides. No, guess not. Guess not. Dallas. Into Phillips. A nice one-two to Dallas. He cuts it inside. Oh, Mo Salah just toasted our defender. And he goes in the side netting. Let's take a look at the tactic here. I'm going to take off run at defense. I think I want to do that. And let's demand more. As Gaio not playing well, we may sub him off at half here. So 0.97 to 0.14 on XG in the first half. So we've been a little unlucky. Konaki is frustrated. As Gaio is not playing well. Dallas is furious. And I think we're going to take As Gaio off. Problem is, I really don't have anybody that can play over there, do I? Actually, Stuart Dallas can play over there. Let's bring Dallas up. And then that would bring Sessignon on. I like that better. Let's demand more. Tiago with the ball in. That's a nice ball out. Very good movement there. Ah, that was unlucky. That was unlucky. Dallas is only playing a 6-3. Konaki is playing a 6-2. Rodrigo... He had an opportunity there. He got pinched between the defender and the keeper, it looked like. I don't think anybody's playing extremely well today. All right. I think Dallas Harrison. Problem is, I just don't have anybody else over there. Let's bring in... Um, Let's bring Stroik in for your rente on that back line. Who's under my desk down there? What are you doing? I saw the cables on my monitor wiggling around, and that makes me nervous because my cats like to chew on stuff. 
And we got a goal by Dallas, his second of the season. That is nice to get that one back. On the break, Stroik, Sessignon, nice ball by him to get it through. And a nice finish. Phillips, sure. Tonali's on the bench. Yep, yeah, make that move. We can do that. All right, Tonali's on. Demand more. Shackleton's playing a 5 9. Wow. Harrison into Rodrigo. Can we FM it here? Oh, I need VAR to see if that went over the line. Is it? Is it there? I don't know. Oh, we don't get it. They didn't give us on top, so I'm not positive, but boy, that was close. That was close. One last opportunity here, possibly. Back to Sessignon. Can he pick out another one? Dallas. Shax. Into Dallas. He put it in. Oh, my God. 95th minute equalizer. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. Uh, let's see. We're going to go back. We're going to compress. We're going to not use the offsides trap. We're going to back off. Uh, no, we're going to keep that on. And I want you to slow the pace down, regroup, and hold shape. Just go fully defensive here. And let's go cautious. What a goal. A late equalizer. That's huge. Oh, what a ball in. And what a finish by Dallas. And I will be more than thrilled to walk out of here with a point. And we ended up with a 1.38 XG. Higher than theirs. That's crazy. We were by far, you can see in the second half, by far the more dominant team with chances created and everything. Uh, I believe we're going to go with the outstretched arms. You've done brilliantly. I'd really like to get on him with about his form, but it doesn't look like I can do it here. Oh, individuals, uh, that would be, there needs to be a way to hit clear. Yeah, or they should start off unchecked. Shackleton ended up with a 6-4, so I will be happy with that. Denali. Yeah, this, I... The layout here looks kind of neat and interesting like it is the dressing room, but having to go around to all sides of your monitor is a little weird. So we are still in seventh, a full three points plus goal differential over Fulham, so that's good. Dallas gets player of the match. Very, very nice. Shackleton has his 100th league appearance. And we will be back in just a second for Arsenal, guys. All right, we are back for the game with Arsenal. We're going with Rodrigo Guiri's return from his injury. He'll be back up top. Jones in the number 10. Rafinha back from his injury. And Esgayo on the wings. Tanali and our standard back line. Meslier in goal. And we are looking good. We are looking good. Um, let's see, Dallas, you know what, I am going to start, I'm going to start Sessignon Konaki, just to, just to have all fresh in the, in the squad, and you know what, I'm going to pull both of those guys, uh, you see the guys in on loan, we did have the, uh, release day, so we brought in a bunch of those guys, uh, I think I've offered two or three of them contracts, but let's see. Who do I want in there? I think we'll bring uh, Elder Costa still is not back to match sharpness. 
But 45 minutes, I think that could be a thing. We could do something with that. And let's go ahead and bring Stroik in as well. Onto the bench. And we are at it. So seventh position. Unfortunately, we have uh, fallen out of Europa qualifying, I guess, just due to some finishes, higher positions. Oh, I want to check something here, because this is Arsenal. We're going to take the offsides trap off, and I don't want that on. Let's change that up real quick. All right, there was a good shot, low, but right at Meslier, he makes the save. Ah, uh, look at the one-two touching, man. That is crazy. And I think both of our guys just killed, uh, I don't even know how to pronounce that name, Abayaymang or something, I don't know. Checking for the penalty. Let's hope they got all ball, but they did not. Penalties awarded. Yeah, I think he took a dive, personally. Oh, what a save, Meslier. <laughs> He's the hero. Oh, power to the French goalkeeper. Speaking of Meslier, he uh, made his French international debut uh, between matches or last international break. I forgot about it. So he is, uh, yeah. Hello. Demand more. If we can do that. Denali into the box. Lacazette. A lot of space. Oh, my goodness. Oh, what a slide tackle in there. Who was that? That was Sessignon to knock it away. Oh, good ball movement there. Rafinha. Oh, he gets tackled from behind. Goes out for a throw in. I want to look at one more thing. Yeah, let's take off run at defense. Start passing the ball a little quicker. A little quicker. Meslier picks up another save. We've got five shots, three on target. They've got a 1-1-5 XG, so we are actually doing well to have them scoreless at this point. Six of their seven on target. They've really been outplaying us. We have not done a whole lot. Uh, I am going to put uh, hands on hip. Been unlucky so far. We're going to go away from the assistant manager there. Arsenal, top of the table. I really think, all right, Rafinha. What's Rafinha's deal? Stamina's 12. Natural fitness is 12. I just feel like he should be, he should not be getting that tired. All right, let's bring Harrison on, on that. Actually, you know what? Let's bring Costa. Let's bring Costa in on that side. Anybody else? I don't think so. All right, Shackleton. There's a throw. It Oh, it's headed. Keeper missed it, but it's headed over. Mm. All right, I want to go in and make another sub. Esgayo is not playing well. We're going to bring in um, Harrison, and let's swap those two guys. And let's see if we can demand more. That is just booted out. Come on, fellas. All right, there's Costa. Back from his injury. Play it through. Play it through. Oh, there's a shot. Mm. It goes wide of the mark. Oh, we needed that. We needed that. Chelsea up 4-0 at, at the Hawthorns. Nice chest down by Costa. It's into Harrison. Oh, and he did not pull the trigger on that. 
Oh, that was just too easy. Costa's already tired, but it said he could play 45 minutes, and he hasn't been on that long. He's playing well. All right, Tanali. Let's get Phillips on for him. Oh, a set piece. Calvin. Come on. It's in there. Calvin, his second goal of the season. And that puts us up 1-0. All right, what are we going to do here? First thing we're going to do is slow the pace down, hold shape, and regroup. I think we'll do that. Oh, what a set piece coming off the bench. Bends it around the wall, and we take a 1-0 lead. That's huge. All right, let's give a shout here to Focus. Phillips heads it down and out. Four minutes of stoppage time. 91st minute. Oh, nice. Guiri. Over the top. Koenaki. Mm. That should be it. We're going to hold on for the 1 0 victory. That is a huge win for Leeds. Very, very big. The back line, Costa played a 7. Phillips played a 7-9. I, I tell you what, I think I'm going to have to start him next match. And I'm going to outstretch arms. Really special scoring streak. All right, let's see what that is. 10 consecutive matches. 34.7% of players have this achievement. Excellent. Arsenal drops to second. We're one point behind Man City. They are the only club we can realistically catch. We're eight points behind Wolves. Four, we're five in front of Fulham, but they do have a game in hand. Must be tomorrow. Meslier, man of the match, seven saves. I believe... That that is it. So la next episode will be Brentford and Leicester. That'll be our last match of the series and of the beta. And I think because I, I won't be able to get through another, unless some word comes out that they're going to hold off for like a week. But even if it's only a day or two, those are days <coughs> that I will probably be doing, you know, setting up my plus 30. So... I think this is going to be it. So we'll, we'll be back tomorrow for Brentford and Leicester. And then uh, keep an eye on my Twitter feed as I will kind of keep you guys in the loop for what day the first episode of the new save with the full release of FM21 will come out. And I will also have to do a reveal on who we're going to be playing as. Because I don't know at this time, because I don't know what the league is going to look like 30 years in the future. But uh, it will be a one-team save. I don't think at that time any of the major databases will come out, so it won't be anybody in, like, level 22. And I'm probably going to go away from England. If you got, Again, if you guys have any suggestions, let me know. Uh, and I've got a video up with uh, some sh footage of the clubs that I have played in the past. So I'd like to go somewhere we haven't been, but I think what I'm going to do, my thought process is to go into the, do the 30 years, kind of look at the world rankings and see what, you know, what the rankings of countries are and find one of those countries you know, just outside of the high European qualifying, you know, uh, you know, in that seven through 10 or 12 ranking that, you know, looks like a solid league with, you know, maybe like one dominant team in it, and then maybe take a team lower down in that league and see if we can build up not only a club, but also a country at the same time. 
that might be an interesting thing to do. Um, or a country that has like a top division with several good teams and then take a team from a lower league and build them up, something like that. Well, we've been in good run of form. We are losing matches to the top of the table teams, which is expected, but we are playing really well. And since we have gone over to that new tactic uh, against Bournemouth, uh, we have been scoring some goals. So looks like two up top might be a thing in FM21, maybe. Uh, but anyway, we will see you guys tomorrow. Hit that like button, subscribe for me if you haven't done so yet. And uh, don't forget, follow me on Twitter because I do uh, post updates daily. Uh, but you can also just hit that notification bell here on YouTube and you'll get the same notifications. Take care, guys. Bye.